Well, this is what we call a seepage run. And what we're doing is we're measuring the gains and losses of the stream. It's looking at how surface water and shallow groundwater interact. So all the rivers will be broken into reaches. And then you can sort of quantify within that reach if you're getting a gain or a loss. In some reaches, the groundwater is influencing the stream. In other reaches, we'll have the stream actually recharging the aquifer. So this is the first stage of the basin study that Oregon Water Resources Department, Department of Ecology, and the USGS are starting. That surface water and groundwater interaction piece is important because that can tell us how different drivers like agricultural use and municipal uses may be impacting the groundwater levels over time. So if potentially a groundwater user was pulling water from a shallow well, which is in the alluvial aquifer, that could impact a surface water user or vice versa, right? And then also looking at the deeper basalt aquifer and seeing how that basalt aquifer interacts with the shallow aquifer at all. Mother Nature does not follow any sort of line that we have drawn on a map. Oregon has done a lot of work on the Oregon side. Washington has done quite a bit of work on the Washington side. But now it's time for us to really come together and manage the basin in a way that's whole. It makes a lot of sense to do this at a basin scale instead of at a state boundary line. And so the states are working with the USGS. They will write a report when the basin study is over, cataloging their findings, and then it's up to both states to decide what to do with that information and how that may shape our, our management of the resources moving forward. The USGS has a history of uh, collecting unbiased scientific data that local and state federal agencies appreciate. For policymakers uh, and, and regulators, having a solid foundation of science and potentially a groundwater model is going to help us make better decisions in the Walla Walla Basin. There's a lot of interest in the basin for water and we're trying to find a way to meet everyone's interest in a sustainable way so that into the future generations will have the water they need for the interests that they represent. Whether it's a homeowner or a landowner or an irrigator from shallow aquifers on the Oregon side or a deep basalt groundwater well on the Washington side, we need to have everyone at the table sharing what it is they want to see in the future for their watershed so that we can make a plan that hits all the targets and meets all the goals for fish, farms, and for people.